What's up guys, Father and Son MTG here with a uh, kind of a playtest, but not really. I'm um, be playing Dredge versus no one, because this deck mainly consists on your opponent doing nothing. Um, so yeah, here we go. So, when you play Dredge, most of the time you want to let your opponent go first. So then, say they went first, my turn, I draw a card. And I can't play anything seeing as there's no land, so I discard a Dredger. So then I'll discard a Golgari Grave Troll and pass my turn back. And then, everything's fine and dandy, they take their turn, they're done. Instead of drawing a card, I bounce this back to my hand. And this one just says Dredge 6. So I'm just going to put top six cards in my uh, library into the graveyard instead of drawing a card. So I'm going to one, two, three, four, five, six. Now these aren't in the graveyard yet, so I can rearrange them however I want. And with neither shadow, he needs three more creatures above him, so I'll put him last. Do a Cabal Therapy, Dread Return, Shaxian Pro, an Icarid, and a Stinkweed Imp. And then seeing as I have 8 cards again, I will discard the Golgari Grave Troll again. They do their turn, everything's fine and dandy. Now, upkeep comes, neither, tri neither shadow triggers, because there's 1, 2, 3 creatures, so he comes into play. I can exile a Stinkweed Imp to return Icarid. And then I can judge 6 again. So this time I got an Archimiba, and Archimiba's ability is when it's put in the graveyard from my library, I may put it on the battlefield. So it goes around the battlefield. I got another Grave Troll, a couple spells, and this time I will... Discard a Phantasmagorium. And then, I forgot this last time, but Icarid goes away at the end step. I have seven cards. They do their things. On the other turn with Phantasmagorium, I can put three cards and return them by hand. Or I can put six while it's still in the stack. With the first three, put another three and bounce them back to my hand. So, right now, I think I will put a Nida Shadow, Golgari Grave, or Golgari Thug, Phantasmagorium. Since that's on stack, I can put a Dread Return, Bailstrid Spy, and a Golgari Grave Troll, also in the graveyard, return him. So then, now it's officially my turn, so upkeep, Nida Shadow comes in, can pitch a Golgari Thug, and bring back Icarid. Uh, this is, I believe, turn four. So, draw my card, which I shouldn't have done. But I can sack three creatures to cast a Dread Return for a flashback. You can sack three creatures instead of paying its cost for a flashback. And I can bring back a Bailstrid Spy. And when he enters the battlefield, target player reveals cards from his or her library until she reveals a land and puts them in the graveyard. So, I would choose myself. Put all my land, all my cards in the graveyard since I don't have any lands. So these all go. Now since the Narcomibas hit the graveyard from my library, they come in the field. I also have four bridge from blows. So whenever a creature I control dies, I get four zombies apiece. So I go back, sacrifice three Narcomibas to cast a Dread Return. Well, that's all happening. Three creatures died, so I go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Twelve zombies. Now, here's where the deck can differ. I can, uh, with the Dread Return, I can get a Flamekin Zealot, which, when he enters, all my uh, creatures get plus one, plus one to haste. So that'll make these twelve zombies three threes with haste and just swing and kill him in combat. Or if he has 
thing where I can't attack, let's say, I will bring back a Flare the Hate Bound instead, if I can find it. And then when he enters, you t the opponent takes four damage, and I can sack these three for another Dread Return. Puts another 12 zombies on the field. He comes back, they take five damage, and I can reanimate a Golgari Grave Troll. And he enters. His power and toughness are equal to number of creatures in my graveyard, which I have about 26. So then your opponent takes 26 damage that they can't stop. The fastest this can go, which I will make the perfect hand just to see and show how quick it goes, would need a Phantasmagorium, Grave Troll, Street Wraith, Street Wraith, and where is another Street Wraith? Street Wraith, and let's just say Jitaxian Probe, and one more card for good measure, throw another Grave Troll in there. So if this is my starting hand, opponent goes in play, they're done, okay, fine and dandy, I pass, or they pass, I draw the card, I discard a Phantasmagorium, and pass. They do their stuff, on the end of their turn, I use his ability, put one in, pay two life for a Street Wraith, draw a card, but I don't draw, I judge six, one, two, three, four, five, six. This goes in. I still have another one, so I can go two. Street Wraith, pay two life, drive six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Got a bridge from below. On third time, put him back in. Pay Street Wraith again. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Four, five, six. And then one more for good measure. I could put those three in. He comes back. Now that's all on the end of his turn or her turn. So on my upkeep, I can get a Icarid, Nickard, and I have two bridges. So I can get rid of a Street Wraith to bring back a Nickard, and another Street Wraith to bring back another Icarid. Rearrange my whole graveyard again. So this is officially my second turn. Instead of drawing Dredge 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Pay 2 life with the Jitaxian Probe. Instead of drawing Dredge 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So now I have three bridges in. I could sack one Icarid, get three zombies from one, two, three bridges. For Cabal Therapy, naming some random card to gather hand. Worst case, I get nothing by three zombies. I can then sack those three zombies for a Dread Return. And I can bring back a Veilstrid Spy. And then Graveyard flips again. I get my one, two, three. Four Arc Amoebas, sack three, get one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, twelve zombies. They come in, sack these three, get another twelve zombies, bring back Flame Kin, and attack with twenty four zombies. So uh, that's it for this video. Uh, stay tuned, like, subscribe, and see you next video.